get off this phone for y'all distract me and make me fall down the stairs. Ugh. Yeah. Sugar baby, sugar baby. Nice whip, nice crib, nice crib. I want this. I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. Okay, honey boo boo. We're gonna jump straight into this vlog because it's four, it's 5 13. And I don't necessarily want to be doing this th tonight. I kind of want just to let my hair breathe tonight. And I need to take my dogs out also. So I'm going to go ahead and, honey, get this down. Girl, look at my hair. Like, my tracks are out. Do you see this? Tracks are out. Like, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. trying to damage my hair and it's getting a lot better right now 
So I'm gonna put it back up tomorrow. And yeah, honey, this is the back. Yeah, I'm gonna take my dogs out. Mm. I'm gonna take my dogs out for a little bit, you know. Putting my Zara sandals on. These have been my favorite sandals for like this whole week. I'm actually gonna walk them around so they can get some more of the scenery. And I will check in with y'all tomorrow when I do my sewing. Hey y'all, so I'm just chilling right now at the crib. I've been like sitting on the couch for like the longest. I don't know, I'm like, nothing's wrong, I'm good. I just, that's why I have to stay busy. I have to stay busy 24 seven because if I don't, I start thinking too much and I start feeling bad about things and I start feeling like I'm not doing the right thing. And that's why I'm always, um, always staying busy because if I don't, then my mind starts to wander and I start feeling like, you know, I start feeling like shit. And I hate that because I'm not, I'm amazing. So I don't know why I be getting in a funk like that every now and then, but that's why I gotta stay busy because I don't have any family, you know, and I'm just now making friends. I'm not really like the social type. Like I'm social, but on social media. <laughs> like I'm not social in real life. In real life, I'm working on being social in real life. I'm going out with this girl that I just met. Um, well, two girls actually I just met. We're all gonna go out tomorrow to a Two Chains concert. So I'm gonna bring y'all with me for that. So this is gonna be like a hair vlog, girls night, you know, whatever. And I'm also shooting my what I eat in a day to gain weight for my BBL vlog. Also, I'm shooting my sew-in vlog, how to do your own sew-in um, and maintenance, you know, your hair. If you have blonde hair, just any anybody who has, you know, it's anybody with hair. And then I'm doing my lash vlog. I'm doing my nails vlog because, you know, I do my toes. <laughs> I do my toes. Sorry, there was something on the bottom of my foot, but it's just like dust or whatever i know i need to back to my carpet then my lash extensions vlog because i do do my own lashes i don't like i do my own everything because i don't feel like people take me take it serious when they do it for me like i've always felt like people don't take business seriously like i do and they're not I'm, well not even just that i don't feel like people are perfectionists like i am i'm a perfectionist so i have to have all my stuff perfect or else I'm not gonna like it. And I like my stuff to be perfect in a certain way. So I just have learned how to do everything myself. So I'm just gonna show you how I do everything, you know, that way y'all can, you know, get on game on how to stack your lashes, have good skin, have good hair, have good nails, and do it all on a budget. And we don't have to go broke behind being beautiful. So that's what I do. I'm very um, frugal with my money. I don't like to spend a lot of money. You know, I like to, just go with the flow and do my own thing. But that's why I always have money. That's why I can also always do what I want to do, you know, um, because I do, I do treasure my coin and I hold my money hostage as much as I can. I only spend it if I like my, most of my money goes towards my dreams, like my dreams and my aspirations. Sorry, let me put this back down. I'm still, I'm still learning how to use this gimbal. Let me know if y'all like it on the gimbal. I'm still, you know, I just like to do everything myself. So I'm gonna teach y'all, show y'all. So I'm about to go get me something to eat in a second. I'm not doing anything, honestly, tonight. And it's not because I don't want, it's not because I don't want to do anything tonight. It's more so I was, I went to um, Cabo, Mexico. I went to Hawaii. I had to fulfill orders. I've been vlogging a lot and I'm saving up for my BBL and me and I'm also about to move. I'm having a BBL and I'm moving. I know my babies, they're fighting. One thing about me and the, the reason why I'm always, you know, 
doing good is because I know when to settle down, buckle down. It's time to get serious. It's time to save. It's time to work hard. It's time to go hard. You know, I know when it's time to get serious. That's like the good thing about me. And y'all look, I just got me a new gun. I got a gun. That's my little like area. It just has like my candle and stuff, you know, my little night, my nightstand. But put my socks on real quick. Oop. But I'm just gonna go grab me some pizza and relax, come back and smoke and just chill. And then tomorrow I'm going to the Two Chains concert. So tomorrow I have to do my hair. So I have to wake up early to get it done. I'm gonna do it myself. So, and it's grown a lot. I really, well, it's already was long. So I'm just happy that my hair didn't break off and I still have hair. But I'm gonna give me something to eat. Let's go, honey, cause, oh. My dogs are so, so spoiled. They get the door open. I have like a little screen there so bugs don't come in. TV on. I would leave the fan on, but it was already on all day and it's cool. I'll be right back. getting used to like vlogging in public because I don't usually vlog in public because again like I told you I'm not really social so like <laughs> I'm actually really shy well I'm not really shy but just anti-social I guess I really like my new setup it's really nice it's real professional and the cool thing that came in handy was me having two phones because I don't have to buy a camera. I'm waiting for the new upgrade to come, well, the new iPhone to come out. I know they got the 12 Pro Max, but I know a new iPhone is about to come out in like September. So I wanna wait to get that iPhone before I try to upgrade, because I know I'm due for an upgrade. I'm only gonna upgrade this phone I'm blogging off of because, you know, quality is everything. And I want y'all to have the best quality. And I don't play about my content, honey. That's the baby. She's dirty right now. We have to go get a clean. Go get a wash tomorrow. Block and dropping honeys good morning so I'm getting into this whole vlogging thing and you know more so just getting into telling y'all how I'm feeling for the day and what's going on I just woke up not too long ago I took my dogs out today is Sunday it's 10 51 and right now I'm chilling I gotta work tomorrow through Saturday out of town. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. But, so, I kinda wanna tell y'all where I'm at mentally. Like, and while I do that, I'm gonna roll up. I've been trying not to smoke in the morning, but, Oh, but what but what but what but why do I have to smoke I have so much stuff and I love it because I literally used to not have shit when I was like 19 20 when I first moved to Dallas like I didn't have much so it was just really cool to see all other stuff honey I got two rooms two closets living room full of stuff and it's just so when I be looking at my background I'm just like honey we came up in this bitch this is what I'm wearing hmm I got my 
detox water. It's just limes, lemons, and kiwi up in here. I don't know if you can see what I... <gasps> so, I'm about to roll up and talk to y'all. Mainly because I just want y'all to know how I'm feeling. So, basically... I'm feeling all right. My back is a little sore though. I don't know how I slept. I slept a little fucked up. So basically, sis, like, life is good. Life is great, you know. Being pretty and light bright, good hair, good personality, smart. Life is really easy for me. I mean, I wouldn't say it's always been easy. I probably, you know, made things sometimes harder than what they were. But for the most part, life is really good right now. I just started dating like last year, this time last year. I haven't dated for like four or five years. Like I was just getting money. So I was missing that aspect in my life. And so now I'm trying to contribute that aspect back into my life. And it's just so fucking difficult. Like, I'm completely aware that men settle where they find peace. And, but it's like, it's hard to be someone's peace when there's so many lies going, you know, around. Like, I wouldn't say I'm the type of girl that gets cheated or played, cheated on or played only because one I haven't been in a relationship to where somebody can like actually play me and then two I like my gut feeling is just so fucking good like if I sense anything I know what's up I'm gonna confront you about it and <clears throat> more than likely my assumptions are right and I'm gonna be done but it's more so just finding an honest person or somebody that I feel like is completely honest. And then even just that, giving my time to somebody. Like, most of the guys, there's not one man that I've had that I cannot hit up right now and get back. You feel me? It's not one person that I cannot have back. If I'm not with you, it's because I cut you off. Like I'm that's I do silent cutoffs. Like I'll just never speak to you again. I'll just cut you off and not even like tell you that I'm cutting you off. And the reason why I do that is because you already know what you did. Like you already know why I don't fuck with you. Females and males. I do it the same way for both of them. Like girls, I'll cut you off in a heartbeat. Like just not speak to you anymore. If I'm just not vibing with you, if you just not my vibe. then I'm just gonna cut you off. Same thing with men, like, I've cut men off for the littlest things only because when I get married, I wanna be completely infatuated with the guy who that I'm getting married to. But right now I'm good. I need to heal, I've been through too much. You know, I was in an abusive relationship. I witnessed this guy having girlfriends and and selling dick and then also trying to be with me and being with men and I've witnessed that I witnessed people lie straight to my face it's like I've been through too much it's trauma it's traumatic experiences and then not even just that I've been through so much in life so it's just like a consistent I wouldn't say I have complex PTSD but I definitely have post-traumatic stress disorder I definitely, definitely do. I was watching videos on it last night and like listening to what they say, like the signs of you, if you have, I definitely don't have complex PTSD. I'm not like always thinking things are going to happen, but um, I definitely have a switch that just goes off and I don't even notice when it's going off. It just kind of does. So, I don't think I need to be with anyone right now. I need to just be alone and figure myself out. Well, I already know who I am. I don't need to figure out shit. I actually just need to work on being able to witness when I am 
about to snap on someone or witness, realize when I'm about to cuss someone the fuck out or have any type of negative energy towards them that I need to remove myself completely and go be by myself for like 10 sec, 10 minutes, five minutes so I can regather my composure because honey, I will snap on your motherfucking ass.
All right, ladies, so this is the finished look of my hair. Hope y'all like it. I hope y'all like this little mini vlog of how I do my sew-in and you know, with a little bit of leave out. I usually do glue-ins. The only reason why I'm doing a sew-in right now is because I did bleach my hair. And so I'm letting my hair get back healthy and then I will start doing my glue-ins again because I do like it when my hair is out. But for now, I really like this. I blended my old extensions in. That way I could fill it out at the top. And yeah, I love it. I'm gonna end this vlog with a girls' night out, so keep watching. I don't know, I just don't like the middle part, so I'm about to move my part around. Hold on, y'all, hold on. Hey, girl. <laughs> wait, I can't hear you. Oh, wait, there it goes. Yeah, I can hear you. No, so I was about to say, um, what time are you going to that thing in Deep Ellum? Okay. Um, so we're probably we're not gonna obviously not gonna be there right after. Um, okay, cool. I'm starting to play game right now, girl. I'm making some sweats. I have no face on, so I'm it's not okay. You're okay. Um, but I got some shit though. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So did, did you get any or what? Um, I already got some. I was just really trying to see what time you were gonna go. I'm about to. Um, I'm pretty much already ready. Okay. So what I. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to do. I'm gonna throw on my clothes real quick and then I'll come over there and finish um, the bottom of my hair. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, cool. Um, drop me your location. Huh? Drop me your location. Okay. All right, bye. 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 So my hair is already done as you could tell, but I'm gonna go over there and curl my ends just because it's a little humid outside and I feel like my ends are gonna sabotage me. So I'm gonna fix my ends. And this is getting on my nerves over here. Oh, I feel like I look good. I'm just a perfectionist. So, yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. So I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna have to figure this out, okay? All right, honey, it's time to get ready. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I only have one outfit left from when I went shopping that I didn't get to wear because y'all know my trip got ended early or whatever. So I got this cute little top. Oh, is that cute? It's cute, girl. I know you ain't gotta tell me, sis. I know, girl. And then I'm gonna do these cute bottoms with my pink heels. And girl, that's gonna be it. I'm not even finna think hard and long about this. Don't and don't be, don't be, don't tell me I look fat. If I look fat in my outfit, you better tell me I look skinny, sis. Cause we supposed to be right here with each other, all right? Y'all supposed to have my back. Even if I look bad, you supposed to have my back. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. If I look fat in this outfit and y'all don't tell me, no more vlogs for y'all, period. Hey, honey. So I just got done getting dressed. Let me show y'all my little fit real quick. All right, so this is the fit for tonight. I like this because it's got a cute little wrap on the back. I got this outfit from Zara and I got my shoes from a long time ago. I don't remember where I got them. But I'm about to go ahead and head to my friends and go pregame and I'll see y'all tonight. All right, honey, it's time to go. Let me turn off these lights. I guess I'll grab some weed. I guess I'll grab some weed too. I don't think we're gonna be smoking that much simply because, I mean, who wants to go to sleep, right? I'm gonna bring some just in case, you know, we're all chilling and somebody decides to roll up and I'll either give them some weed to put in the blunt with the, what they got or I'll just roll our own joint, my own joint, whatever, you know. Let me turn the TV on for my babies. And then look at my view. The view is always so pretty here. This is how a bitch be at home, but be on vacation. Hmm. You bitches can't even spell home. Turn the TV on for my dogs. I leave the TV on for my dogs because, honey, it would be, wouldn't you not get bored? 
I would get bored just like always in the crib with no music no nothing no tv no nada like the fuck bitch you speak english we speak english to the dogs all the time they know english in my bottle i got the weed clumsy tv's on grab my phone what you looking at girl what you looking at all right, let me grab this little bottle here. I've been saving this bottle for one of my for my clients. Like when they come over and get massages, we could pour up, you know. But girl, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it because I don't want to be like the girl that come that don't got no no nothing. We bring this, <laughs> even though it was only ten dollars, you know. What's up, baby? Excuse me, you got water? I gotta get this some water. Close this door. I was supposed to bend close the door, but y'all was distracting me. Y'all always distracting me, like, gosh. Grab them some water. You see my dogs are spoiled. They got their own water pitcher that I put in there for them. Mm. Hmm. Yo dogs wish they had a mama like me. All right, let me get gone, honey. Bye, babies. I love you. Be good. Fans is on. I'm going to turn a little AC on in this beach. All right, y'all ready to go have fun in Deep Ellum? Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go see what Deep Ellum got to offer. Because tomorrow I got to get to work, honey. I got to get this money saved up for my BBL. I already have money saved up for my BBL. But I got to have money saved up for my recovery. Let me get off this phone for y'all distract me and make me fall down the stairs. Ugh. All right, honey, let's go. Let's go. You know, it's not really a good thing I haven't ate yet. Oh, hold up. What's this hair? Okay, there we go. Go. Put my lipstick on there. I don't really wear makeup like that. I guess y'all should start wearing makeup. What y'all think? Y'all want to see me? I mean, I'm really good at makeup. I guess it's because I hold on. I guess it's really because I started waking wearing makeup too early. Like I hold on, honey child. Hold up. I started wearing makeup way too early. Like, I was doing my makeup when I was like, what, 15, 16 years old? I was wearing eyeshadow and stuff. But I used to do like extreme eyeshadows, like uh, blues and stuff like that. So, I feel like I just naturally grew out of it faster than everyone else because I started so young. But not even just that, I have like this natural beauty and I don't, like I don't need makeup. Like literally don't need it. But I'm gonna start wearing it so I could, you know, show y'all how to slay your makeup. Cause some people just don't know how to do makeup. I'll be like, hold on honey, how long? Like what is you doing? But this girl doesn't live far. She literally lives five minutes away. So since she lives so close, I'm actually gonna stop by a McDonald's real quick and grab me a little hamburger. That way I ate something rather than just going to straight start drinking because I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be the one at the club, one to eat, and no, honey, no. So I'm going to just go ahead and shoot up here real quick and then go to her crib because she's literally probably like right up the street from, oh, shit, I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go up that way one more street. So let me turn this way.
Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.